Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Los Angeles. And for today's video, I'm excited because I haven't done a recreation of someone else's makeup look in a really long time. For this video, I'll be recreating Sophia Richie's bridal makeup look done by the legendary Patty Dubroff. So if you wanna see how I get this makeup look, then keep watching. Okay, let's get this makeup started. I have my skin prep on, but I saved the primer that I'm gonna use for this tutorial for last to show you. It's the Fenty Beauty. Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I actually really like this primer. It's one that I keep in my professional makeup kit. Even though I'm not a primer girl necessarily, I've talked about this a lot. I won't, I'll spare you the details. I do think that if you're a bride or if you're doing bridal makeup, this is the time to bring out a primer. Like it's essential. Like if you're ever gonna use a primer, it's gonna be for a special occasion makeup. So even though I'm not Sophia Richie and I'm not getting married in the South of France, I think that's where she got married. For, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm still gonna act like I am and I'm still going to prime my skin like I am a bride. So I'm gonna use one pump of this Fenty primer, a little tiny pump and a half. Don't overdo it with primers, FYI, because the more primer that you kind of goop onto your skin, the bigger chance that you're gonna have pilling with it. If you're gonna utilize a primer, put it in the areas that you need it the most. So that's usually in the T zone for most people. If you feel like you need it all over, then just disregard what I just said and put it all over, everyone's different. But in my experience, most people just need it in the center of their face and that's it. This one dries down very quick, just an FYI also. So when you're working with this primer, you need to put it on and get it going, like start to blend it out. We are going to switch to cream bronzer and I'm actually gonna do some underpainting for this makeup look because the whole makeup look is so natural. Like it is a very, very natural bridal makeup look. It's very timeless, very clean, very, very simple. It's beautiful and she is so naturally beautiful that she could have put anything on her face and you know she would have looked stunning. Not, I'm not so much the case for me, but <laughs> I might put a little more on than Sylvia Ritchie has for her makeup, for her bridal makeup. But I'm gonna start with my Laguna bronzer. It's a cream bronzer and a BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A507. It's an angled brush. And I'm going to pat this onto the high points of my face and basically do like a whole underpainting of my cream bronzer. I'm not really contouring my face with this. This is more of a bronzing product. As you could probably tell by the tone of it, the undertone is definitely more of like a, a warm bronzing tone. So I'm gonna use this underneath my makeup because I want it to look like it's not even there. I want it to just look like I have very bronzed skin. I would also love to know what foundation the makeup artist used on her. She did not mention it. And also let's talk about the makeup artist that did Sophia Ritchie's makeup for her wedding. Um, she's an icon. She's pretty much like, you know, she's what all us makeup artists look up to and aspire to be. That's how cool she is, you know? She's just, she's a legend. And um, she's still painting faces full time. And she has been for like 30 years, I wanna say she's been in the business. I, I could be wrong. I should really look that up before I say that. But she started out as, um, was it Nars' assistant? Francois, Francois Nars. I believe she assisted Nars. Like, you know, Nars. <laughs> if you didn't know, Nars is a person, by the way. Anyway, she is a legend and she did Sophia Ritchie's makeup for her wedding. She's also a Chanel makeup artist. So Patty actually did a TikTok telling people what she used on Sophia for her bridal makeup look, but she didn't really tell, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like she didn't really, to give us all the details. She didn't tell us everything that she pulled out of her makeup kit to do Sophia Ritchie's makeup look. She told us like key components. So it was like two nude sticks, cream blushes. One was like sun kissed and the other was picante. I don't have either one. And that's surprising to me because I have so many nude stick blushes, especially just in my makeup kit. We're gonna make do and we're gonna do a recreation with different products. And that's just the way it is. And that's totally fine. So I'm taking that same bronzer and just blending this along the side of my nose and then up into the crease of my eye. Do I have any of the products actually? No, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one of the products that she used, but that's okay. So this bronzer I'm gonna use as basically my beginning eyeshadow, taking the place of what I would use a powder eyeshadow for. The reason for that too is because this is just, like I said, such a soft and natural look. And Patty used all creams, well she says, she used all creams on Sophia's eyes. So that's what we're gonna do. I might have a little more makeup on than in, at the end of this video than Sophia did her, at her wedding day, but you know, we're not the same person and it's gonna be inspired. So bringing this around my nose, just creating that depth, that nice natural depth. 
and I'm gonna do a little more underneath my jaw just because she has a very sculpted and a very strong jawline. So now that our pre-foundation bronzing is done, like our, our underpainting is done for the most part, I'm gonna go with foundation. For foundation, I'll be using the Dior Forever Skin Glow uh, foundation in 2W. Sophia's skin was just glowy, healthy, stunning. Like just, just perfection. Like her skin is, is impeccable. For this foundation, I'm just gonna buff it on with the Patrick Ta foundation brush. This will give my skin like a nice healthy glow. But I have noticed too, this foundation does stay put pretty well throughout the day. So if you are actually a bride that's watching this, you know, these are the things you kind of want to keep in mind when you're doing your makeup or if you're having your makeup done professionally, make sure they're doing or using products that are going to stick and wear long on your skin. So patting this. And the reason why I underpainted too, just an FYI, in case I didn't mention it, is because it's just going to look overall more natural. You're not going to see those layers of bronzer staying on top of your skin. Instead, they're going to be just coming from within, basically. Moving on to concealer. In theory, I'm a bride in this video, so I'm going to use a longer wearing concealer, especially if, like, if you are a bride and you're going to you're doing your makeup, you're getting your makeup done, you're, you plan on crying at your wedding, make sure you're choosing like a long wear concealer. This one stays put really, really well. It's the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I wear the shade 2N. This is also a very, very full coverage concealer. So less is more. I'm gonna use a lot less than I typically would because I'm trying to be a little more natural for this look. I'm gonna swipe it out towards my temple and I'm gonna just swipe around my nose because I have a lot of redness around my nose, especially lately. I'm gonna highlight the top of my chin. It's gonna pop a little bit between my brows. And then we're gonna blend it out with a BK Beauty A506. Okay, just blending this on. Okay, our base is looking good. One thing I have noticed about this concealer that I like a lot too, especially if like, you know, in terms of like longevity, is it doesn't require as much powder to set it down. It dries down better than a lot of like the other concealers on the market. Before we get to eye makeup, we're gonna do some, some glowy products. Um, I have two new products from Milk that I didn't expect to like as much as I do. Just to be fully honest, they are the, they're highlighters. So I have the shade Flash and the shade Lit. Lit is lighter and Flash is much deeper. This one I'm actually going to use for um, like a glowy bronzer. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to use a BK Beauty 109 brush and just kind of get my brush onto it like this. I just want to tap this onto the highest point of my forehead. So this is actually one of the products that Patty DeBroff did mention that she used on Sophia was the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Skin Enhancer. It's like the sheer cream compact. I have that, but I'm actually, I don't want to use it for this, to be honest, because the one that I have has a really like olive undertone to it. I have medium dark. Sophia's makeup is very like sun-kissed, like very like golden. I'm trying to stick with that totally sun-kissed makeup look. So that's why I'm switching it out. And also just, I really love the finish this gives. It's very, very similar to the Makeup by Mario. So if you have the Makeup by Mario, just use that by all means. But like I said, it's just kind of nice to switch it up and see different products being used. I'm gonna take a little more of this and just sculpt a little more underneath my cheekbone. Just tap it in. And now we're actually gonna move on to blush before we do the lit one. And lit is so stunning. So for blush, like I said, I don't have those blushes from Nude 6, which was a surprise to me. Like I said, like a total surprise. So we're gonna make do and we're gonna do our own kind of concoction. So. I have one of the blushes that I got from my Sephora blush haul. If you saw that video, you will recognize this one. This is the Neo Nude Melting Color Balm. It's for your eyes and your cheeks. This is the shade, oh, well, it doesn't say the actual shade, but this is shade 30. I'll make sure I link it so you have the actual, the name of this one. I'm gonna use this first because this to me looks very similar to Sunkissed from Nude Sticks. So I'm gonna pat this on with a BK Beauty 106 and we're gonna use this as our first blush. Oh yeah, this is very, this definitely gives the vibe that I was going for. Now, when I look at Sophia Richie's makeup for her wedding, I noticed, the first thing I noticed is her cheeks. Her cheeks are what stand out to me like the most. Comment below and let me know what, what stands out to you the most. But to me, it's like her cheeks are like the standout focal point almost. And of course, like her eyes are beautiful too and her lip is stunning. But I just really focus on those cheeks when I see any pictures of her makeup from that day. And of course, I'll make sure I insert a picture of her makeup that I'm talking about right here so you can see it. So we're going to work in layers. This is going to be the first layer as we build up the intensity. This blush is so pretty. Definitely gives, like I said, that sun-kissed look that the nude sticks has. But we're going to layer, like I said, just like Patty. 
Patty did layer her blushes, so it was not just one blush. She put Picante on top, and now I don't have Picante, like I said. But I do have a brand new Scorched from Make. These are the Heat Stroke. They're like a gel blush, They're like a cream blush, basically. What I like to do with this formula is work it on the top of my hand first. This is just like my, my favorite way to apply this. I feel like it just works the best. And now taking the same BK Beauty 106, I'm gonna tap into it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. And we're gonna just layer this on top of that Armani Neo Nude. Mm, it's a good combo. I'm gonna have to use this in my makeup kit. <laughs> it's a really pretty combo. Very sun-kissed. Hmm. With whatever's left over, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Now, normally I like to just full on apply blush to the bridge of my nose, but I'm just gonna do a touch of it just to bring some balance to the center of my face. So it's not, you know, so it's just, it's gonna melt together better. Now we're gonna move on from blush and we're gonna go to our cream highlighter. This is the Lit Cream Highlighter from Milk. This is so good. I just wanna show you what I, I have two of these. So one's in my professional makeup kit. The other one stays put with me. But the, what I love to do is on my clients, swipe it on the top of their collar and their shoulder, like the bone, get the boniest part, you know, like the, whatever this is called, your shoulder bone. <laughs> it's not gonna show up as much here because I got tattoos, but just right here, phenomenal. All down the side of or the front of my neck, kind of blend it out. So now I'm gonna swipe this on with a small brush and hit the top, very top of my cheekbone. I know Patty uses her fingers a lot, you know, that which is great. Like she has gorgeous makeup looks. I'm not, I'm not into that. So if you're at home and you don't want to use a brush, you can of course use your fingers and just kind of tap it on. I like to just have a little more control with the placement of this. So I prefer a nice little brush, but that is so stunning. Like just stunning. And now we're getting to the point where we're gonna do the eyes, which is very exciting. Very pumped about the eyes because they're gonna be so simple and so beautiful and just so easy to recreate. If you're at home, you're gonna recreate it. It is so easy. But first, I am going to set my under eyes officially. I know I said that this doesn't require a lot of that because it, it kind of dries down and self sets, but you still wanna set it. You still wanna set it. So I'm gonna use a very lightweight powder this is great for a natural makeup look. This is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Breezy. And I'm gonna apply it with a 113 from BK Beauty. And before I do though, grab that concealer brush and blend out any creases that might've happened. For me, there's just a couple, which is miraculous because like I said, this concealer really self-set and it really dried down on its own, which is very impressive and also hard to find with concealer. Okay, so that is done. Now we can go in with the powder and I just like to push it on for a natural makeup look. I'm not gonna be using my powder puffs, which you know I love to use on myself, but this is a recreation look. So I'm gonna be tweaking the techniques slightly. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit down the center of my face, like along the side of my nose. We want to keep all of this glowy. We don't want to take away any of that shine, but we want to eliminate it right here. So right here and a little bit around my mouth because I want that longevity. I don't want to look like I have a sweaty upper lip. And then we're going to hit the very, very center of the forehead, just right here and just right here and a little bit above the brow. Now it's time for the fun part. What I want to do is I'm going to run just a touch of this powder, just a little bit across my crease of my eye really quick because even though I'm gonna put some cream eyeshadow on top right now, this is gonna act like a little bit of a base just so that cream eyeshadow does not slip around too much. So Patty used a Laura Mercier, or I think one Laura Mercier crayon and she used a Chanel one. I'm gonna use one Laura Mercier one and this is not the exact shade that she used. Like I said, we're just gonna make do with what we have, but this is a beautiful cream shadow stick. It's from Laura Mercier, it's in the shade Strapless. So Strapless, we're basically just going to run all across the eye before this has a chance to dry down, we're gonna take a small blending brush in A502 from BK Beauty and just blend it. It was a very soft eye makeup look. Very, very soft, like I said. So this is gonna be quick and easy. And honestly, the kind of makeup look that you could wear every single day. So we're gonna work in layers. I'm gonna do one more layer. Patty also used a Chanel, it's like a gel balm. And it's so funny because my friend has that same Chanel compact and I, I played with it recently and I thought, God, do I need this? I wish I would have bought it because now you can't buy it. It's limited edition. It's not like you can't get a hold of it apparently. Move it onto this side, then blend it out. Layer a touch more. And now time for the fun part. I'm actually gonna grab one of my drugstore products that I bought recently. I love this so much. I'm so happy I picked this up and that I found it. It's the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow. It's in the shade 710 Caramel. It is so 
pretty. I'm gonna layer just a little bit of this on top of that caviar stick from Laura Mercier because this is gonna give me more of a golden bronze. That first shade was more taupey, which is great. And I feel like there was a good mix of like a taupe and an actual gold that Patty used on Sophia. So this is gonna give us that, that same vibe. Patting it on top, nice and simple and timeless. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it on the bottom lash line as well, just a little, just to create like some draw to that part of the eye. This is Mambo from NARS. I'm gonna tight line my top lash line with this pencil. I'm gonna do another shadow stick. This is from Jouer, it's the Cream Eyeshadow Crayon. This is the shade Rococo and we're gonna use this just in the tear duct, so easy. And now that my nails are short, I can just kind of pat it into my tear duct area. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Total Taupe. I'm also gonna use this and tightly run this along the top lash line. As I mentioned, Patty used like a Chanel cream eyeliner and it was a very like deep taupe. This is gonna give a similar effect obviously, but the finish that it gave was like a very soft, um, soft definition, like a soft smoky definition. It's subtle, but it's there. And a little bit, just a little bit on the bottom. We're gonna move on to curling our lashes. She did not use any false lashes on Sophia. If she did, she didn't mention them. So we're not gonna do that for this video, but I'm gonna curl my lashes with my refer lash curler. Give them a nice curl. I feel like this is crucial. If you're not gonna do, like if you're going to an event or if you're a bride or you know, you're know you attending like a special occasion, like some kind of event, if you're not gonna wear false lashes, don't skip curling your lashes. This will give you such a beautiful impact and um, just gives your eyelashes a nice lift. I'm not gonna use waterproof mascara. I know Patty used like a waterproof Maybelline something mascara. It's like the pink tube. Um, like I said, it's a drugstore mascara. I'm gonna use my Fenty because I love this mascara. It's a new Fenty Hella Thick Mascara. This mascara is so good. So I'm gonna do about two coats on each eye. Now a little bit on the bottom lashes, just a little bit. I'm gonna reassess my blush. I wanna add some more blush. I feel like I don't quite have enough on yet. To me, the blush is the star of the show. So I'm gonna go back to my Neo Nude cream blush. Just add a little more. Okay, time for lip. I'm gonna use a little bit of Oak Lip Liner from MAC. And for the first time, I'm actually going to bring out my Cupid's bow. She actually has a very defined Cupid's bow. A little on the bottom. I'm gonna take just a touch of the total taupe. Patty actually used a very taupey, like taupe colored lip liner on Sophia. You can't really tell from the pictures that you see online, but she says she used like, it almost looked like a brow pencil, to be honest. It looked like a totally taupe color that she used as her liner. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of this. I mean, just a little. And now I don't have the lip color that she used. I'm so sorry but I'm gonna make do with what I have. And I'm gonna to try to just mix two different shades that I have. The first one I'm gonna put on is the Milani Cosmetics. It's a matte lipstick, but we're gonna make it a little bit shinier. This is the shade Secret, and I'm just gonna push this onto my lips. Okay, so I'm gonna to top it with just a little bit of the Tower 28 Juice Balm in the shade Mix, just a little bit. Okay, lip is done. I'm really happy with this lip. It's not the exact shade, but I think it's really similar and I, I don't know, it's really pretty. It feels very bridal to me too. So now I'm gonna set my makeup look with the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Setting Spray. And then that is gonna be the complete look. And that's the final step in this Sophia Richie Bridal Makeup Look Recreation. <laughs> this tutorial recreating Sophia Richie's bridal makeup look. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are. And if there's any other makeup looks you'd like to see me recreate on my channel, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you all. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future content or my lives. If you could catch me there and come say hi. If you do like videos like this, I have so many more where this came from. You can click on them right here and I'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>